Hello, this is Muhammad once again. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to create a traffic manager in Azure portal. So for that reason, I like to share some image at first, what we're gonna do now. We'll create uh, one traffic manager, but before creating the traffic manager, we need some other resources. We'll create a resource group named resource RG traffic manager. And we'll create two uh, sub, uh, virtual network. Uh, and that's uh, in one in the Sweden central region, another one is in uh, Poland region. And we'll create two subnet in this two uh, virtual network. Um, in Sweden central region, we will create a subnet that's named uh, subnet Sweden. And in Poland region, we'll create another subname, subnet named uh, subnet Poland. And I already shared the image, uh, so you can see the IP addresses all of these subnets. After creating this subnet, uh, uh, I will create two virtual machine. Uh, approximately, hopefully, uh, I'll create uh, web servers uh, for this demonstration. Uh, that is uh, one for VM1, uh, VM Sweden, and another one uh, for VM uh, Poland. Uh, about of this uh, web server, I will uh, I'll uh, give domain names, the DNS names uh, for these uh, two web servers, so we can uh, access these uh, web servers. Uh, with the DNS uh, instead of uh, uh, pinging up with IP and anything. And after creating uh, this uh, web, uh, web servers, um, we'll create a traffic manager um, with uh, some uh, traffic routing methods. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll demonstrate what we have over there. So traffic manager will decide uh, which traffic will be directed of this web service. Uh, so uh, I think we can start uh, making these uh, uh, resources, uh, groups uh, and uh, virtual networks, subnets and virtual machines uh, with DNS at first. So after creating this thing, um, I'll come back um, while I, I start creating traffic manager. So I'm not, uh, demonstrating this uh, virtual machine up to the virtual machine creations things again and again because I have shown these things uh, uh, several times in my other videos of this uh, playlist so you can have a look if you need to have some uh, uh, memory callback uh, so you can have a look so um, I'll start creating and then I'll come back uh, when I start creating traffic manager hello uh, I have created uh, the resources uh, for this demonstration. So, according to the image, uh, I'm cre I have created uh, these virtual machines uh, on the subnet of a specific uh, regional uh, virtual network, and I already added DNS names uh, with these virtual machines. Uh, so this, uh, I think, uh, if you follow my previous video, and then you can easily make these uh, resources uh, on Azure portal. My traffic manager today. That this this name is available, and. As a and routing method, I'm selecting uh, for this uh, demonstration, I'm selecting routing method as a performance-based routing me method. There are some other routing methods, methods like weighted priority graphics, geographic multi-value and submit. I'll demonstrate a couple of that uh, routing met method uh, after this uh, performance-based routing method. And choose a uh, subscription and choose the resource group like RJ Traffic Manager. And then create this uh, profile uh, with the Traffic Manager. Uh, 
now it's uh, creating the traffic manager uh, profile and after creating this traffic manager i have to end, add uh, endpoints so we have to wait a few minutes more to create uh, for creating this traffic manager And its deployment has been successful, it says. And if I go overview, you can see that uh, this is, a, if I go back from the uh, all resources and we can see this traffic manager is ready. So here I have the traffic manager overview and the DNS name is here. So when we, uh, add endpoints to this traffic manager. On this traffic manager, we can we can um, use this D DNS name, and we'll reach uh, web servers. Uh, where maybe sometime in uh, Poland region and sometime in uh, Sweden central region. So I'll demonstrate. Uh, I'll I'll show how we can add endpoint now and how we can ping and now arrive on the different web servers. Now I'm going to add uh, endpoint uh, with my newly created uh, traffic manager profile. Uh, I go to my traffic manager and go to setting and then point and then endpoint. Now I add, I pick up this uh, type as, a, as an Azure endpoint but I can include uh, some other vendors, uh, uh, cloud services like AWS or Google Cloud uh, from here, like external endpoint. And you also, I can, I can include the nested endpoint as well, but just to make it simple, I just pick up the endpoint as an Azure endpoint type and give a name. For example, for Sweden, I give a name like CSW. And as this is a web server, I pick up the IP address, not the app services or app service slot or cloud services, but I'll include this type of uh, services in my future video. Just now for the time being, I pick up the public IP address. Now I have to pick up the uh, server and then add. Now, so Sweden uh, web server is uh, added here. Uh, again, I pick up add, pick up the Azure endpoint, give name for Poland like PL, and choose the app services, uh, targeted resources type like public IP address. And now I'm going to pick up um, the uh, virtual machine of Poland IP and then add here. So this will be added uh, as well. Now this two has been added here. So I refresh it and see a checking endpoint. Checking endpoint, this monitor is checking endpoint. I refresh a couple of times to make sure it's everything is okay. And it looks like this, uh, everything, the status is enabled. Now I go back to the traffic manager overview and I pick up this DNS name. This time I'm going to pick up this DNS name and paste it on the browser and see what is happening here. When I paste it here, it shows that server is located in Sweden. If I press a couple of times, refresh, uh, I might find that it also ping this uh, to the Poland server as well because of the performance. Uh, round robin league, but most of the time it performance uh, will knock the closest server uh, from my geographical location. But because uh, right now I'm doing this uh, from Copenhagen, Denmark, so it's, it's uh, Sweden will be the closest data center from my location. So as the latency is uh, lower compared to Poland uh, data center it will definitely knock uh, the uh, 
server which is located in this uh, Sweden and I'll just show it that I already edited that uh, web servers so webs web page is is servers web page so we can check that this is knocking on that Sweden part of this web server. Now, if I need to change this uh, routing method, at first I have to delete this endpoint and go back uh, to the uh, traffic manager profile and then go back to setting and uh, go to setting and then configuration and then routing method for the time being. For example, I'm going to pick up the priority. Now I give the priority and then uh, save the priority uh, as a routing method. Now I'm going to add the endpoint again. Now again, I'm going back endpoint and I'm going to add endpoint again uh, as your endpoint like SWP for Sweden as a per Sweden performance. Just to make sure that and the name is different, maybe it will not make any issue again. Then VM as VM set in VM, add. And now again, uh, add the second uh, web server, like all and uh, performance, IP, public IP, and then uh, pick up the all and uh, web server's public IP. Add it. Now refresh once again and go back overview and copy this IP address again, a DNS name again, and open a new window and make sure I, I mean incognito mode and paste it here. Let's see. It also knock again the uh, Sweden uh, data center's web server. So now I'm closing this one and go back to the portal and see this priority. Sweden's priority is number one, and the mm. Poland's priority is number two. We can make a change here. We can set this priority uh, like 10. And then say the bigger the number, the less the uh, priority. So when I save it and I go back to the portal, um, uh, I can see this, uh, the priority has been changed. Now I go back to the overview and copy the DNS name again and open a new tab and again in incognito mode and then paste again. Let's see. Now you can see that we are knocking on the Poland web server because I have changed the priority of the web server. Uh, you can see the priority of the Poland web server right now at, is two and uh, Sweden's web server's priority is number 10. So definitely Poland web server is get more priority, although this is uh, uh, a little bit longer distance from my geographical location and and have some extra latency time compared to Sweden. But still, I have re chosen the routing method as a priority and set the priority Poland server as two and Sweden server as 10. It, it will act accordingly. I think it will make sense. So change the routing method we have to, to we have to remove the endpoint at first uh, for the previous routing method and then again we go to the setting and configuration and pick up the new routing method uh, which one we'd like to have and then we have to add the endpoint again and after ending the adding the endpoint uh, we just uh, set up the uh, values which we like to set up for this web servers and then we can try this uh, routing does it works or not so 
ultimately we can say that uh, this uh, uh, traffic manager is definitely a dns based uh, load balancer so it will indicate redirect the traffic traffic uh, as you wish uh, so i think uh, everyone will uh, play around with other routing methods and uh, explore the beauty of this uh, traffic manager so, so till then thank you very much for watching